Um, okay, today I'm going to talk about um, drawing for <clears throat> cutout art in After Effects, and basically um, all the material that I work with, I I start out with drawings. So as you can see, what I'm doing, like over here, you can see I started to draw <clears throat> these flowers over here, and what I'm using is 0.5 red um, pencil lead. I couldn't find it at any stores so um, online I ordered and the good thing about it being red is that um, you can do the outline of what you want the drawing to be with the red lead and then when you go back and ink it in you don't have to trace over it you can draw it right on to the the same piece of paper that you did the preliminary drawing on you can ink it in and um, you know so you can see as I've uh, for this one fly um, notice how all the different parts I've, I've gone ahead and um, drawn them out uh, separately and that'll make it a lot easier to get it um, uh, set up in After Effects and then what I did after that is I went ahead and scanned it into the computer so you can see um, here is uh, here are the flies here and um, basically I've got a lot of hotkeys set up so I'm not going to walk you through this I'm just going to give you the basic idea I go ahead and up the contrast a little bit and most of the red is gone but basically what I want to do is leave only the ink and um, the white paper and uh, so, try not to trip over the camera here. I'm going to go over here where I think some of the remnants of red is left over. And really, this is the only red that I have left over. So, I'm going to go ahead and color select everything but black. So, I just do the um, menu. I do color select and make sure to just, you know, whoops, I accidentally selected black. So, I need to go back and... You know, by holding down the shift key, I can add to what colors I want to add here. So, so, and then basically, um, um, I uh, go ahead and wipe out everything but the black. And okay, so the the way I do that, I have a hotkey that basically everything but the bat black is selected, and then um, what I do is I adjust um, saturation I open that box up here I'll show you so here's the image I go into adjust and um, hue saturation and the lightness I take all the way up and hit OK and that basically will erase everything that is selected okay so I'll go back to zero and then I'm gonna inverse the selection shift control I um, uh, D makes the palette a black on top of white. Hitting B uh, selects brush. I need to select Shift B a couple of times to change it from the pencil to the brush mode. Um, the um, right bracket is going to make the brush bigger and it's set to black and of course all the black is selected so I go in here and just make it blacker. I just go over here do to do blacker blacker blacker. Let's go over all these areas make them darker and basically you can draw and you don't have to worry about tracing it because you're doing your preliminary drawing in the red so it's easy to select that and, and erase it and leave only the inking so now you have a super high contrast ink drawing and uh, then um, so then I'm gonna okay I think this is the second one so we have uh, here we have uh, um, high contrast black and white drawing and I'm gonna make sure that none of it is selected and then basically what I'm gonna do is uh, make it 
so that um, what I did is I created another layer underneath this one and just to make it easy to see what's going on I made that layer bright green like if I turn this layer off you can see the under the layer underneath it is bright green and that's just for convenience so that while I'm preparing the transparency I can really see what is transparent and also on this layer that is now visible I have a layer style which is the outer stroke and you'll see um, in a minute why that's very helpful so I'll go ahead and select eraser right bracket will make that eraser bigger and oh first the wand so the nice thing about drawings is that with the wand the wand can really get in here and just select everything that we want to erase and uh, it's uh, okay it looks like it's uh, I'm gonna have to refine this but basically you want to make sure that all the you know the inside whites you don't want to select you want to select all the negative space around these fly parts okay so I have most of the negative space around the fly parts uh, selected hit the erase and now what we're seeing that red outline is the um, layer style the stroke that is on the layer we're working on and um, because I work with images um, with uh, mass transparency masks on them this red outline is really helpful it shows up areas that I need to you know the red will show up a lot of the times where I wouldn't even notice that there were still areas that were not fully erased and and these are you know a lot of the times it won't show up in Photoshop much but once I um, import an image into After Effects these little you know areas that are not fully erased will really show up in After Effects so this is this is helpful and you know um, you can see there's little areas around the legs that I haven't haven't um, erased no big deal I find it's easier just to go in and do that with uh, nothing selected so then I'm gonna hit control D to deselect um, Z for zoom I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here real quick to clean this up E for eraser left bracket to take the eraser down and this is this is where the reds handy I mean it just makes things a lot a lot more visible so 